In this video, we're going to be going over the steps for connecting your Google Drive account to your Edmodo account. What this will allow you to do is it's going to make it easy for you to post things that you have in your Google Docs into Edmodo. Now, to begin with, what we need to do is log in to Edmodo. Now, once you're logged in, you're going to click on the library icon at, towards the top left-hand corner of your screen. And that's going to take you to your library. Now, my library has a couple of objects I've already uploaded to it a while ago. Some pictures, um, some PDFs, an MP3. Your library is a place where you're able to store media that you want to use in Edmodo. This just gets stored there, and it waits until you need it. And whenever you want to post it, you can add a post and then attach one of these bits of media. Now, if you look on the left-hand side, you can see there's a library heading, plus there's a Google Docs heading. Now you're also going to see below that a heading for folders. Now I've created two folders by clicking the new folder and naming one common core and one pig pen stuff. This is going to be something I want to do because when I attach my Google account to the, to uh, my Edmodo account, I'm going to want to have folders to kind of grab stuff from Google and put them in here so it's easy to find when I want to make a post. Now to connect your account, it's very easy. You click Google Docs and it's going to give you a prompt to connect to your Google Docs account and you're going to click that button and it's going to prompt Google to let you select which account you want so I have my school account and personal account hooked up right now so I'm just going to pick my school account it's then going to ask for permission to access your Google Docs files so I'm going to allow that access and then it will take me back to Edmodo a lot of times it will take me back to my main page and it's still loading so I'm going to give it a minute the first time you do this it's going to grab some information so it's bringing me back to my library and now when I look at the Google Docs heading I see a list of all of my stuff now this is not very easy to scroll through if you just want to scroll through and see the thousands of things you might have in your Docs account so what you need to do is use these Google Doc, these Google folders at the top there's this Google folder heading if you click on it it shows you every single folder you have now unfortunately it doesn't maintain kind of the hierarchy you create in Google Drive with main folders and subfolders but you can find every single folder in here and then access the stuff you want so what I'm gonna do is grab some stuff from my common core folder and I see that right here and I click on it and it's only gonna show me stuff in that folder so it allows me to limit what I'm looking at now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for some of these documents about the Common Core. Now there's this one Common Core and Technology ELA document. I want to grab that. Now I can click on that and when I do that I see it gets previewed over here and then it is going to ask me which folder I want to put it in. Now I want my materials to be put in the folder because what it will do is it will actually make a copy of kind of the link to my Google Docs, add it to my permanent library so even if I disconnect my account my, this doc will still be linked up but moreover I want it over in one of these folders because I want to be able to find it very easily now I'm gonna click on folder here and choose which folder I want to put this in I'm gonna put this in the common core folder I'm gonna click apply now sometimes it takes a minute for this to happen um, it does allow you to do more than one file at once but I find that that sometimes kinda of jams it up I'm gonna grab another common core I want to grab this um, Grade 6 through 12 history, social studies, history in common. And I'm going to click this one and click common core again and hit apply. So I should have two things that are going to be added to this common core folder in a minute. I'm going to just kind of let the computer run its course. The computer should be done. Now, if I click on common core, I will see the documents that I've added to it. Now, I accidentally double clicked and added one twice, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to click on this click remove from folder and yes and it will take it out of that folder now it's very easy to go through create folders and then go back to your Google Docs and grab whatever materials you want and add them to your folders um, since it's going to your Google account it sometimes takes a second so be patient I'm gonna grab a Google presentation from my pig pen presentation and here it is this flipping the classroom I'm gonna click folder and I'm gonna add it to my pig pen stuff and click apply and I now will have this item saved into my library and that's kind of handy because later on it's easy to find now if I click on library up here I see all those pictures I had before plus those docs from my Google account that are now saved in my Edmodo library 
Now the reason this is handy is because now when I want to post this, I'm going to go back to home by clicking the home icon in the left, and I'm going to add a post. Now if I click anywhere on this post, I can say this is my Google Doc sample, and I'm going to click on the library icon. When I do that, I'm going to be brought, I'm going to be shown kind of a preview of all my stuff. Now unfortunately, the Google Docs list is really kind of hard to use and you'd have to scroll down and hit more and find all this stuff and it would take you forever. But if you've already put this stuff in your folders, it's very easy to grab. So I'm going to grab this Common Core file and attach it. Now I'm also going to grab this Flipping the Classroom and attach that. It'll let me do more than one thing. And I'm going to send this to one of my groups. I'm going to click Send. And this post will show up, and here it is. You can see here's my post. There's the type, the, um, the text I added, and here are the two links. Now, when everybody clicks on these links, it will go to that actual doc. So this is a live document that I can keep working on. I can make changes to, and it will automatically update. Now, the good thing about this is that it is very easy to do. You can con you can share materials very quickly. Um, instead of having to go in and share everything through Google Docs, you can just post this up and your students can get to it. Now you do have to make sure that you've changed the sharing settings so that anybody can view it, but if you do that, it should be all set. Now that is how you connect your Google Drive account to Edmodo and how you post um, stuff from your library that you've grabbed from Google Docs.